guys, it's Poochie. wanted to do a quick video showing you today how easy it is to do a manual listing using eBay's new PBSE uh, product based shopping experience is what they call it. It's basically eBay's catalog. Earlier this year, eBay completely changed their platform into a catalog based or item based or product based uh, platform or catalog. Okay, kind of like Amazon. Um, they're basically copying Amazon. Uh, don't tell them that. But uh, Amazon uses ASINs, which are specific Amazon numbers, um, and eBay uses UPC codes. So let me show you how easy it is to uh, list an item for sale manually now, whether you're drop shipping or have the item in hand. Um, it's very, very easy to list an item. So let's, we're on Walmart. And before we go any further, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel, uh, like the video if you do. I always provide free content and free help for people both here and in my Poochie's Pack Facebook group. And also click the bell down below here. You see a little bell icon? Uh, that way you'll get notified of upcoming videos as soon as I upload them. Okay, so I went on uh, Walmart and found this really cool TV. It's a Vizio 50 inch TV right here, okay? It is 298 bucks. List price is 428, free shipping. Okay, 298 bucks for a 50 inch TV, pretty good, right? And the list price is 428. So even if I add a nice little margin on that, a nice little profit margin, I'll probably be able to um, list a pretty good profit margin and still stay below the $428 list price. Okay, so what I did here is I looked, it's got four star reviews, 706. That's really important when you're listing items, you wanna make sure you have items that don't have bad reviews and a lot of bad reviews. Because if you list items that have bad reviews and a lot of them, then what's going to happen is you're gonna get a lot of returns and you don't want returns. So. Uh, on this one, it's got four-star reviews, free shipping. Again, it is sold and shipped by Walmart, so there's no third-party seller uh, that you have to deal with on this, which I think is a good thing. I like to deal directly with Walmart because um, they have two-day shipping, they get the items there, uh, and I've had a lot of problems with third-party sellers on both Amazon, Walmart, uh, I think Sears has them, you know, because they don't have the reputation. You don't really know who you're dealing with other than the fact that Walmart says you can buy from this person. But a lot of problem with that on uh, drop shipping items from Amazon especially. So let's look for this item on eBay. What I did was I searched for Vizio and then the model number here because on this uh, I couldn't find the UPC code, okay, or I would have searched for that on eBay. But let's go over to eBay and my computer's a little bit slow today, as usual. I think I'm going to have to upgrade. Uh, so we find this uh, same item, right? The V, yeah, I know there's a lower price. That's, that's the point. <laughs> I found a lot lower price than $40 less too. So uh, the Vizio D50X-D9, okay, uh, 50 inch, has no reviews on eBay, it has one person viewing per hour on eBay, which is good, okay, um, <clears throat> so let's see, I mean that shows it's just getting traffic, okay, it'd be better if one was selling per hour, but you know, I sell you by 101.5, okay, thank you for the listing, let's go down, it says they're in New York. It might be a drop shipper who has created a new account. Okay, the listing isn't going to give me anything. It just is a standard listing. So check this out. Click that sell now button. Watch what happens. Okay. Look at this. They're giving you a stock photo. They've filled in the description. This is eBay, right, from their catalog. So they filled in the description. They've given you the stock photo. Um, you can, it should give you the category on here too. This is the store category for your eBay store. Um, 
you put your description in down here for that uh, you can copy the description from Walmart pretty much what I would do is I would change a few of the words add a few words remove a few words um, because otherwise you have a chance you're taking a chance of getting a uh, warning from eBay and having the item removed because of copyright infringement for text yeah if you use uh, text if you're using a an automatic uh, automated um, uploading software like um, AutoDS is one I use, DSM tool I've used before, um, trying to think of who else. There's uh, Sale Freaks, there's a lot of them. Um, if you just upload the text, thank you, hello Cleveland. Uh, if you just upload the text, uh, word for word, there's a chance that you can get a violation with eBay. The item will be taken down, not only for the text, but also the image. That's why it's so great that eBay gives you the stock photo. Now, you can also add more photos down here if you'd like. Uh, you can just copy the stock photo, I think, to the uh, other other photos if you want some people do that just because then it shows there are more photos so if an item has one photo some people think that if an item has more photos then eBay send, tends to uh, rank it higher in search results the more photos you have I don't know if that's true but down here you're gonna put in your description like I said you should try to change it a, a little bit then you can come down here and what's cool is eBay shows you the lowest price okay so that seller had it on for 420 so obviously someone sniped them and put it at 419.99 but what we can do is snipe them and make it 419.98 or we could probably make it considerably less than that we could probably make it 399 you'd have to calculate the figures but you could probably make it 399 and still make a decent profit you come down you can um, uh, by the way not my zip code just so you know this is an account this is an account that's a test a test account that's not even in my state but anyway you can offer discounts if people buy multiples you can do all sorts of stuff do your own shipping on it I mean your own shipping and return rules so free shipping um, you can do what I've said to do in other videos or what I've suggested in other videos which is make that surcharge so customers in California and Massachusetts and Washington DC and places where you're going to have to pay tax even if you're tax exempt will have to pay a, sh a shipping surcharge so on this if you're gonna list it at four hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety eight cents let's say you would want your shipping surcharge to be forty dollars because that's going to be ten percent that's going to cover uh, the sales tax that you're going to have to pay on it since you're only paying how much is it on Walmart again? $2.99? You could actually make it, because you're going to be paying tax on this, so you could actually make it $30 uh, and still be fine, because it would be, it should be 10% of what you're paying uh, for the item. But if you, if you make it 10% of what you're selling the item for, then you just, I mean, bonus, you're going to make more money. Uh, California's tax I think is 7.25% so if you put a surcharge on that's 10% you're gonna make another 2.75% uh, if you don't want to do that just calculate that risk into your um, price so you don't lose money you don't want to set something at a 5% profit margin or at, you know say you're gonna take the profit on the back end and you set it at 0 or 1% profit margin and some people even set it at a negative 1% profit margin because they're going to get uh, their profit on the back end via gift cards cashback sites um, credit card cashback etc but if you do that right and you want to keep your price really competitive you're gonna really get screwed if somebody from like I think Nashville Tennessee is one of the areas where they charge a city tax and a state tax so tax there I think is damn near 10 percent if I'm not mistaken um, but even if you're charging like you know uh, five percent markup 
okay? If someone from California buys this and you don't have that surcharge in there, then what's going to happen is you're going to make 5%, but you're going to be paying, uh, you're going to make 5% on the $298, but you're going to be paying Walmart 7.25% uh, or whatever California sales tax is, Massachusetts, um, etc. So make sure you check out my other video on my channel about... Um, how to not lose money to sales tax. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Uh, pretty cool. Um, now, let me tell you that the reason to do this is if you have items in hand, you're going to be selling or shipping items yourself, okay? Or, I mean totally, drop shipping manually. If you want to do manual drop shipping because several people are doing that now, a lot of people are doing that actually. Um, this is how to get a listing on. You do not want to, I don't think, uh, then put this on an automated price monitoring uh, API system, API based system, because that kind of is it kind of makes this an oxymoron where you're doing this manually to kind of stay stealth, right? So eBay doesn't know technically you're drop shipping it, but then you're going to, you know, like put an API based uh, price monitor, reprice monitor, stock monitor on it that's going to change the prices where it's kind of like waving at eBay going, hi, API dropshipper over here, peace out. Uh, so you don't want to do that. I'm going to upload a video in a little while uh, showing you some tools on how to um, uh, keep track of pricing um, automated, not automated, manually. So, um, yeah, I'll do that pretty soon. Um, I hope this helped. Make sure, again, you subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, if you don't liked it, like it. <laughs> I have, what's behind door one? Uh, <laughs> if you, make sure you click the bell so you get notified of my upcoming videos. And also, um, uh, yeah, join my Poochie's Pack. Uh, Facebook group. There's a lot of people there on that group, in that group, that are uh, really, really smart. And we're kind of, you know, having one giant think tank in there of things that we can all do to save our accounts. And I also, um, or not save our accounts, but help our accounts. Um, different platforms to sell on, different things that you can do um, on eBay, Shopify, Amazon, uh, Mercari, Poshmark. Um, also posted a video in there about um, flipping houses, which is something I do and how to do that. So we touch on a lot of things, so make sure you join the group. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helped and uh, helps and best of luck to you.